In today's video, I wanted to talk about zero shoes. Now, I got some here. Uh, you saw the thumbnail. That isn't all the zero shoes that I have. I have a lot that have been discontinued, so I'm not going to talk about them. And actually, as I went through zero shoes website, I realized that I actually have a couple even in my photograph that they don't make anymore or some that are on clearance. I'm going to talk about my favorite, the ones I would buy again, and the ones I wish I didn't buy or just sent back. And there are a couple on this list that I did actually try on in the house and send back. So I'm going to talk about those. Uh, the first on the list, and this is in no particular order. It's just the order kind of that it fell on the website on. The first off is HFS, right? There was really no actual breakdown to what the HFS st stood for. It was kind of make up your own, you know, what HFS stands for to you. That has been discontinued. I don't know why. The shoe is amazing. It did not need anything done to it whatsoever. Just make, maybe make some different colors. I know a lot of people feel that. I made a video about the HFS 2. That cr shoe is terrible. Terrible. That is by far the worst shoe I have ever tried on from Zero Shoes. I hate that shoe with a passion. Okay. So you can't unfortunately buy this shoe off Zero Shoes website anymore. Supposedly there's some in the wild out on like Amazon and stuff that, like that that you can get. HFS2 is a total skip for me. I actually, I wore it outside one time. I wore it around the neighborhood and I actually didn't want it to get messed up. So I took them off because I knew I was going to be sending them back. <laughs> I took them off and I walked home barefoot. They're, they're terrible. Prio. And again, I'm just going in the order that I saw it on the website. Um, when I was scrolling through which one I had, I would write it down. Prio. Prio is right here. This is my favorite color combination. I've had these things for like two years now and I still, they like basically look brand new because I barely wear them because I love this color and I don't want it to get messed up, which is absolutely stupid. You should just wear your shoes. But I have three different pairs of Prio, so they kind of just get rotated in and out of existence. This shoe is a workhorse. If you are looking for a shoe that does, oh, you know, I, before I, I probably should break down each shoe. So HFS, the HFS is, I would not use it for like heavy duty, like everyday type thing. If you have like, uh, like a commercial job or if you have like a warehouse job or if you have uh, something like that, I wouldn't really do the HFS. If you're looking for like something to just throw on to go out, something to throw on to go running, something to throw on to do aerobics, something to throw on. Actually, I use these for bike riding. This is your perfect shoe. This is not something like I've not had them break down and I've had them since they came out, which when I don't know when that was, but it was a while ago. I've had these shoes since the day they came out. Uh, they look pretty much like the day I got them. I, these have been through the wash cycle in the washing machine several times though, so that does help things. Uh, when I look at them, I mean, they, they are a little, you can tell they've been worn, but they've held up really well, but I still, would go to the Prio if I was like, for instance, I had a post office job for 10 years. This is the shoe that I wore to the post office along with another one. Okay, so this is definitely like if you have a job like that, the Prio is the one you want to go for. That's why I have the all black version because government jobs make you wear all black shoes. This is a perfect shoe for the worker. This is a perfect shoe for the weightlifter. This is a perfect shoe for somebody going, going out for a walk. This one in particular is the one I, I, I wear when I'm just going out. This is the perfect all around shoe. I can't really think of anything that it can't do. I've actually gone hiking in these. I've, if you look, there's kind of like that gravel dust on these because the last time I wore these, I was actually out on a hike. Now it wasn't extremely technical, but I was out on a hike in these. If you are looking for the all around shoe, and at the end of this video, I'm, I'm gonna give my top one, two, three, four, five, that I would buy again. Neo, uh, the Prio Neo. I didn't bring it down here because it's not worth mentioning in my mind. It's got some cool colors out there. I don't really like the shoe. Now, that being said, I bought a size 13, which is what all of these are. And th size 13 always fits on me. The Neo Pri the Prio Neo were like a clown shoe on me. They're like a size 14. I really should have uh, sent them back and gotten a size, size 12. 
Even so, I don't see the point of it. The one thing that I like about the Prio Neo is this part is a lot more thin and the tongue is a lot more thin. That I like. Other than that, they can keep that shoe. I don't recommend it. I would not buy it again. Uh, if you are looking into it, it kind of could replace the HFS in many ways. It's kind of like the HFS and the Prio kind of made a shoe together. But it's just an illegitimate kid. I it, it didn't come out right. I I don't I don't care for it. Uh, and I would not buy it again. So again, the HFS buy it all day long. But unfortunately, it's discontinued. The HFS is terrible. Prio buy them all day long. I love the shoe. I don't know why the Prio Neo was even in uh, come out and why they did the Prio Neo and the Prio. So why they couldn't have done that with the HFS? They they could have been HFS and the HFS Prio or Neo, sorry, why they didn't do that, I have no idea, because the Prio Neo and the Prio still are sold. The HFS, which was like their almost best-selling shoe, they discontinued for some reason. Uh, the Kona. The Kona is nice. I could take it or leave it. It does have that boat look, that uh, mar maritime look, uh, if you're really going for that. It's, an, it's a good shoe. I was we actually wearing it today. It is what it is. I actually probably should have done this video while looking at the website uh, so you guys could see this. But yeah, the, the Kona, I like the look of it. It's still tight on my foot. It still doesn't feel like, it, it, it claims that it's a five and a half millimeter stack height. It feels more like it's 12 millimeter. My foot, I don't walk correctly in it. So I have to be uh, cognizant of that. If I took video of myself walking in this shoe, I don't walk as good as I should. If I was barefoot, I walk completely different than I do when I'm wearing the Kona. So if you're looking for a shoe that is just for looks or just kind of casually walking, it's perfect for that. If you're looking for a shoe that does like weightlifting and everything like that, that is not the shoe for that. Uh, if you're looking for hiking, it is not the shoe for that. If you're looking for uh, just like running, I wouldn't run, run, I wouldn't want to run in it. It is literally just like going out. So if that's all you're looking for, then it's a perfect shoe for that. Speed Force 2. These are still wet. I had to wash them again. The only problem I have with these shoes is they smell like a corpse. <sighs> this is after bleach. I love these shoes. These are my favorite shoes, hands down, no comparison. I've already told this, like I've already made a video about this. Not even a close comparison to anything else. Steve Sashin, CEO of the company, uh, same thing, loves these shoes. These shoes are absolutely phenomenal. What would these shoes be good for? Everything uh, other than like what I would, I would wear these for like a job, right? I wouldn't wear these to my job unless my job was just like an office job and you could get away with these. Then I would wear them for that. But if it was something where there's a lot of wear and tear to your shoes just because of the nature of the job, these are it. If you want to do anything else like running, cycling, uh, walking, light hiking, um, kayaking, riding bike, whatever. Just walking around, just need a pair of shoes to go out. Just need a pair of shoes, just have a pair of shoes. This is your shoe. Love that shoe. And I would buy it again. Actually, during their sale, supposedly, I think he's doing a sale during the fall. I'm actually just going to buy like 10 pairs of those. The 360. Man, I really wish I would have brought the damn website up when I'm doing this. 360, I like it. It's perfect. If, all right, so the 360, if, if you were, are just buying this shoe for the gym, I would buy the 360 in set, instead, but I would buy a size down. The 360, I would buy a size down. All the other shoes that I've mentioned so far, I would buy the size that you normally are. The, the 360, I would buy a size down just because they're really just for weightlifting. They're really just for the gym. They're really just for like tennis or something. Like tennis, th these would be perfect for tennis. These would be perfect for 
anything that you would do athletically in the gym or on the tennis court, they would be perfect for that. But again, buy a size down. I like how the top is very reinforced. That way, if you were climbing rope or climbing something, that would help you quite a bit. They are also extremely good for cycling. Would I buy them again? Yes, but I would buy them a size down. Dylan, I don't like these shoes. I like the way they look. I really meant to bring them down. They have this false um, wrap up to make it look like it has a, a thicker sole than it really does. That jams into my arch and I hate it. I hate it. It's the same thing too as the Prio Neo. You gotta buy a size down on those things. I don't know what, the sizing on those is so off. Um, even, even with, I've worn them probably 20 or 25, maybe 30 times, 20 to 30 times. I just, I can't jive with them. They look right, fine. They, uh, they stain up really quick. They just came out with a leather, leather version. Maybe the leather version's better if leather is something that you are right with. Maybe try those out. But as far as buying them again, I would not. The Sunrise. The Sunrise I liked so little that I wore them two seconds. I put them back in the box and I sent them back. I'm not even going to rate them. Oh, the Dylan. What would you wear the Dylan for? Just going out. Anything that you would wear like Keds for or something like that. Or um, Vans. The Hana. The Hana. I love these things. These were also my post office shoes. So between the Prio and the Hana, these were my post office shoes. These shoes are the most comfortable shoes you are ever going to wear in your life. The only problem that I've had with all, I've had two pairs of Hana. The only problem I've had with the Hana, the reason these things don't have an insole is because my foot drags the insole out on these things. I don't know what causes that. I, 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 I did mean to bring it up with customer support and I completely forgot. It would drag the insole out on these things. Every time I would take a step, it would, it would gradually take the insoles out of these things. Uh, that was my only real complaint. One second. All right, back. Mahana, what would I wear these? These are, if you are somebody who does gym, if you are somebody who does deadlifting, these are such, these are the perfect, this is the quintessential deadlifting shoes. So perfect for it. Buy a size down. These will be the best deadlifting shoes you ever had in your life. They are good for squatting. They are good for lifting. They are good for just about anything in the gym. Probably could pay, play tennis in these, but I'm not going to make that claim because I do like uh, shoes that are laced for tennis. Yes, these have laces on them. No, they do not act like normal laces. These are perfect for going out, perfect for uh, doing walk on sidewalk. I have hiked in these things. As you can see, the bottom of these things is pretty worn down because I have worn these shoes a lot. The other ones I finally just threw out last week. I've had them since 2017. Now they're in the landfill. The wear on these things is all right. Um, as you can see, this is kind of peeling off. This is kind of peeling off back here. Uh, but the sole is stuck. That was the problem I had with the other Hana. The sole came off, so they, they de definitely found a better glue. These are not the same color that they originally were because they have been through the wash cycle. That is the consistency that I have with all Zero shoes. They smell like ass if you're going to not wear socks. And I don't even own a pair of socks. I hate socks. Uh, other than that, man, these, these things are amazing. They stick really well to the ground a lot. The one thing I always had issue with with the HFS is like when it's wet out, sometimes you will have issue sticking to the, uh, like, I don't know, that's always been a slippery rubber. This stuff sticks to the ground really well. It's like sticking to my finger as, as not in this like bad way, uh, as I'm like, you know, whatever. Um, Yes, as you can see, they completely form to your foot's walking gait. If you can see that, my left foot definitely has more of a rocker. These shoes are, are, are amazing, absolutely amazing. Definitely buy them again. I hope they don't stop making them. The Denvers, I didn't bring those down here. I like them, I wouldn't buy them again. And that's pretty much where it's at. They claim to be a shoe that will keep you uh, your feet warm. I have not found that to be the case at all. 
Um, I, I really don't have anything to say about them. I wouldn't buy them again. I own them. Would I sell them? At this point, I probably couldn't because they, they have this like felty material on the top and it just uh, it accumulates stuff. So they, I probably couldn't even sell them. I'm not even going to rate them. I've already done a video about it if you want to go see that. I will link the my reviews of Zero Shoes at the end of the video. Aptos. Again, I own them. Would not buy them again. They are a HANA ripoff in my opinion. Some people love them. The I was watching An, Rose Anvil, I think it is, and he did uh, where he cuts the shoes down the middle and he actually measured the the stack height to be 12 millimeters, and I can see that. Because the one thing I don't like about the Aptos is they are very stiff, and I don't like that at all. These are extremely flexible. You could probably do that same thing with the Aptos, but when you have them on, it's it feels completely different. I wouldn't buy them again. They're cool looking. What would you use them for? Again, they're perfect for deadlifting. So if you just want a deadlifting shoe, uh, that would be perfect for you. If you want just to look like Bruce Lee, <laughs> that would be a perfect shoe for you. If you want to, it's a, it's a gym kind of casual, just walking type thing. Probably could go light hiking in them. Again, if you have the HANA, I don't know why you would have the uh, Aptos. Scrambler Mid. This shoe is getting discontinued. It is discontinued. This is by far my favorite boot that I've ever owned in the 44 years that I've been on this planet. By far, hands down, that thing is amazing. I've got hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of miles on this thing. And it looks like I've never worn them other than like three times to get them dirty. Those things are phenomenal. Now, I couldn't use them as my uh, my day-to-day. -day. I don't like high tops all that much, and I don't like how the lugs are on the bottom of there. If they created a version of this that didn't have lugs that was low top, that thing would be lights out. The flexibility on this thing is insane for a boot. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I don't even know how they did that. Uh, it's What would you use it for? I guess you could use it for anything you would use a high top for if you don't mind having those lugs on there. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, they grip really well. They are just the perfect technical hiking boot. Now, could you climb the most technical trails on this thing? I don't know. I'm not going to find out. My ankle is fixed, and I don't feel like uh, uh, going down that path. Scram Scrambler Mid 2. Is there anything else I can say about that? They are just phenomenal. They're phenomenal. I love these things. In a, you know, not in a, whatever. Scr Scrambler Mid 2. Waterproof. Not a fan. They're they're waterproof. I, I tested them out. I did a video about that. Again, the uh, playlist will be at the end. I've only worn them maybe three or four times since I've owned them. Uh, I, I just couldn't jive with them, but I own them. They're an absolute mess because I wore them in um, like a really dirty creek. So it's not like I could send them back, unfortunately, because if I could have sent them back, I would have. Not to say that they're bad. I just, I don't need them, right? I don't need them. So if you need something that's waterproof, then they're perfect for you. They're definitely nowhere near as flexible as this. They don't breathe as well, but that's going to be expected with anything that's waterproof. But I wouldn't do it again. Speaking of wouldn't do it again, the excursion, I own them. I've got thousands of miles on these things. I do like them. I might buy them again. I would buy them over the Scrambler Mid 2 waterproof, I believe. Maybe not. That would be a, a that would be a toss up, but if you have the scram the uh, sorry, the either one actually. If you have the Scrambler Mid 2 waterproof or or the Excursion I wouldn't buy the other one. There's no reason to do so. So if you need a waterproof, one of those will do. I do think that the toe box on the uh, Scrambler is wider than the Excursion. And that is the reason I don't like the Excursion because it does feel like it pinches your toes. And so does the Scrambler, but I think the Scrambler uh, mid two is a little bit wider. And the only thing that you're going to use that Scrambler mid for is maybe on a snowy day or something like that, and you gotta go outside and shovel like three feet of snow. 
or just hiking. That, that is all I can see you actually using that for. The Daylight Hiker Fusion is the last one I have on this list. I have a lot more Zero Shoes that are, than are listed, but they're discontinued, so there's really no reason in going over them. The Daylight Hiker Fusion, the reason I just said what I said is because the original Daylight Hiker is an awesome shoe. I might, no, I didn't photograph it. It's, it's awesome. If the Scrambler Mid didn't exist, these would be my favorite boot ever made, hands down. I don't know why, they just, like, just like the HFS2, just like the Pre O'Neill, and just like the Daylight Hiker Fusion, they did too much when they updated it. They just did too much. They don't, it, it's unneeded. It's an unneeded boot. If they would have left it with low lug, with just kind of stylized, kind of like they did with the Ridgeway, that would be perfect. I can't believe they actually still st sell the Daylight Hiker Fusion and it's not on a clearance because there's no reason for it, it at all. You can either get the Ridgeway or the Excursion or the Scrambler. There's no reason to get the Daylight Hiker, but when the, the Daylight Hiker originally came out, it was just like an all-around boot that you could just wear. It was kind of like having a Prio that was boot. There was a boot with a little bit thicker uh, lugs on the bottom, and it grabbed really well. I don't know, again, this is kind of like the HFS for me. Like, you didn't need to do this. Like, this was unneeded. Now, I know they had quality issues uh, with the, the sole coming off from, you know, the actual rest of the shoe. Just fix that. And they have, like I've never, I've since, since the original Hana, I've never had issues with their glue. So the Daylight Hiker Fusion, again, I wouldn't buy it uh, again. And if I could give it to somebody, I would. All right, the top five are the top five that I've showed. The only ones that I would buy really again, if I only had five pairs of shoes that I could buy, I would buy a Prio, I would buy the HFS, which you can't do, <laughs> Actually, two of these that you can't even buy anymore. I would buy the Scrambler Mid, which unfortunately you can't do, so I'd have to be stuck with the Scrambler uh, Mid 2, which there's just too much going on with that thing. I would buy the Hana, and I would buy the Speed Force 2. If I could only buy one pair of shoes, I'd buy the one that's in my hand, Speed Force 2. It's the best shoe they've made, like bar none. Hana's close, Prio's close. It's kind of like close in the way that back in the film days, if, you, if, if you're into film, Nikon was so far ahead of every other company as far as sales goes that all other photography companies added combined sales didn't even equal where Nikon was. And so the Speed Force to me is so far above that like all the other shoes combined don't get to this level. This level is amazing. If they do have a sale and they have a sale on this shoe during the fall, this is the only shoe I'm gonna buy. If I could get rid of a lot of these other shoes, I would. Uh, it's just the problem that you have, I, they're not really resellable if you don't wear socks because they smell terrible. And that is it. That's my review of all of the shoes. Well, mo some of the shoes I've had. I mean, I've been buying their shoes since they were invisible shoe. And th uh, the other shoe that I can think of that was in the thumbnail was the Toronto, which I thought they still made, but they don't. That shoe I actually really like. That shoe is kind of like um, a Prio, but honestly, I've worn it like four or five times, and I've had it since 2018 or something like that. So not exactly my go-to. Uh, yeah, not, not my go-to. I just, the only unfortunate part about this shoe is even, even after I just, I'm, they're still wet, it smells so bad. I love these shoes. They smell so bad. Because they don't wear socks. I don't know what to do about that. 
The first time I wore these, I, I was in New York City. I had them on for 16 hours straight. And I had a long day that day. And it kind of set me up for failure. They kind of smelled really bad ever since then. And that was like, like the third time. I, I said this first time, but I reviewed these before that day. And then I think this was, that was the second time I had worn them was that long outing in New York. And yeah. So other than that, that is my review. I can't, any comments, ask me anything about zero shoes. I like, I have been wearing these things for a very long time. Another thing that I did photograph and I completely forgot to write down is their sandals. I'm done with sandals. I'm not buying any more sandals, so I didn't even review them. Uh, I've actually already given away one pair of my sandals to somebody. Um, I just don't like them. Luna is probably my favorite, but I don't even like them and I don't buy them either. That's it. Anyway, uh, like I said, comments or questions. If you have any questions about these shoes, the ones that I've worn, ask them. I, a lot of these shoes have thousands. Like, look, while this one doesn't have thousands of miles on it, my uh, black and blues, I have a black and a, a blue pair. Those things, especially that blue pair, oh my gosh, the thing's probably got three or 4,000 miles on them. These have probably 1,500, 2,000 miles on them, somewhere in that range. Uh, these, I, I, don't even, I don't even want to know. Because these I, I used to wear at the post office and I would average wearing, or average walking between eight to 17 miles a day. Um, so between these and the black pair of Prio, I don't, even, I don't even want to know how many miles are on those things. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.